Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about this new, brand new, Winter Wild Cards promo that is coming to FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. There are some leaks to talk about. We have this card design and this loading screen to discuss. This is a brand new promo and it is coming on Friday. Yes, of course, right now Icon Swaps is what everybody is doing in this game. I want to talk about that uh, as well in this video and the market as the foot versus ice cards kind of leave packs. There's rewards today. Uh, Davies, Alfonso Davies Player of the Month is a potential SBC that could be dropping today on Thursday as well. So we're going to take a look at all that in today's video. If you're enjoying the uploads on the channel, make sure to hit a thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you are new but let's talk about this brand new promo right because this has been leaked a couple days now um but really now with the loading screen on wednesday we're kind of getting into this cycle right we're getting into the cycle where we have loading screen wednesday leaks coming out on the weekend like already a couple days before or, or a couple days after whatever previous promo was released really early on and here we are with an official loading screen on this Wednesday with a lot of leaks to go with it. So this is the car design that they put on the home screen. A lot of people looked at this right away and said, hey, this looks very similar to the signature signings car design, which in truth it does, but it's got a little Christmassy theme to it, right? You got a little bit of a, you've got a little snowflakes in the background, stuff like that. And especially on the loading screen, there's actually a couple hints in here that might tell us what this promo could be about. There's two hints that I know of here so far. So this is the official card. Again, it's coming out Friday. Nothing special here. Um, there's this little powerhouse logo, right? The bull here is, is the powerhouse chemistry style. There is this little, um, I, I don't really know what this means, but there is that on the loading screen. And there's also another little um, icon that hints towards shapeshifters or position changes. And that is kind of what this promo is expected to be about. And we're going to look at that here in a second, but we have a leaked team already right now. Again, we take this with a grain of salt because the leaks have been spot on so far this year, but there are times when they have been wrong. So this is the potential and expected leaked, whatever you want to call it, full promo team for Friday that is going to be out as a part of this Winter Wild Cards promo. Now you've got some big names in here, right? Neymar being the headliner. Supposedly it's a striker position change for Neymar. Paul Pogba. Supposedly this Fabinho card is a center forward. Fabinho, a striker. Kingsley Coleman, uh, Spinazzola, Tarapt, and Barba, Semedo, Pau Torres, Jonathan David could be a very interesting card. And Chiampong, Mbolo, Niakate, Luca Bacchio, Tuan Zebe, and Graham. So this is also slightly interesting. There's actually a lot of cards here. I think there's uh, 18 items here, if I counted correctly earlier. So maybe that's like 14 cards in packs and then a mini release on the weekend. Or maybe this is um, like some of the SBC and objective cards are included here. But it's a very, I mean, there's there's a nice mix here of some very interesting cards. Like Nia Kate could be a really OP, kind of like um, Tiago Jello level center back on this game. Maybe not as hype, but pretty hyped. Uh, Tuan Zebi, of course, with the links that he has. You've got uh, a couple of Bundesliga cards in here that look interesting. Uh, again, the Luke, the Niakate, Luca Bacchio, those cards look pretty interesting. Of course, the Pogba could be insane. There's also some pretty good SBCs that have been leaked as well. But this is the full promo team. And again, I want to talk about that little logo that's in the top right. This is the logo that shows. It was behind my camera on the loading screen, but it's, it's right here. This guy uh, on the loading screen, it's this little thing. It's basically the exact same icon that is shown here again, as you see in this graphic, shout out to Foot Mentor for whipping this up. It's the same icon as Shapeshifters in FIFA 20 Ultimate Team, which was a brand new promo a couple years ago, which featured position changes and a couple weak foot skill move upgrades, I believe, and also some work rate changes, right? As a part of that promo, we had a tall striker. We had Ben Yedder right wing, center attacking mid Mares, center attacking mid Marcelo. One of the cards that people will remember is a position change center forward Messi, and on this Messi card, this guy was such an in-demand item because of the position change, but also because of the work rate changes, right? Messi's gold card had medium low work rates, and this item had high low work rates, which from an attacking standpoint is huge. So there are a couple things like th this promo, seeing, seeing this icon on the loading screen gives us a little bit of like confirmed, I guess you could say, um, 
hope that this promo might not be a flop, right? We're getting excited for position changes. We're getting excited for a Neymar and all these cards that are, are leaked with this dope card design. I feel like this is this little logo on here is one of those little things that Jamie Foot Economist at EA Sports loves doing, like a little hint, if you will. Putting it on the promo screen, I can just see him smiling, seeing this graphic and seeing us talk about this in the video because like, ha, they got my hint. They got my clue. So I know last week we were really under... We were underwhelmed with how the promo went because we were expecting five star skills and five star weak foot. And it looks like we're not going to be underwhelmed this week, right? Because those hints on the loading screen do seem to be showing that position changes are going to be coming, right? So that's kind of the thing that we're hyped about with this promo so far. Now, those are a lot of the leaks. This is the Pogba card. People are going to get so, so excited about Pogba. Again, the top three players, big name wise, would be, in my opinion, Neymar, Modric, Pogba, and then, you know, Fabinho, Kingsley Coman, Spinazzola with one of the best outside backs in the Serie A. The Serie A is in dire need of some help. With special cards, it doesn't look like there's that many. Milinkovic, Savage, Spinazzola, maybe one or two more coming as a part of the promo. But uh, this Pogba card looks pretty insane. Um, now, a couple of the SBC leaks, right? A Zaha SBC is leaked. Now, this concept was made before the legit card design was was uh, shown. But supposedly, this Zaha is going to be an insane SBC, and it's going to be five star, five star. So. The only thing I don't like about this is that we literally just had Pulisic. So if, if this is not a position change to like a striker or a center attacking mid or center forward, then I think that's a bit of an L in my opinion. We've had so many left wings, left mids recently um, that it just seems very, very saturated, oversaturated with those types of players in this game. Another leak is for the Sal SBC card, which has gotten Babu, his card going up on the market, uh, because if this guy got an insane SBC, that'd be a nuts card if it's cheap. So those are kind of the rumors. Those are kind of the leaks that are going around at the moment. You've got some people already investing in some of the stuff, like I mentioned, um, you know, with the um, with that SBC for the Zaha card being leaked. You've already seen this card going up for multiple days now. The Cornet Rule Breakers item, uh, since the Zaha card is leaked to be on the left side, this Cornet item is up like 20,000 coins. He was like 75K. Now he's 90,000 coins. I would sell this stuff in the hype. That's a general rule of thumb with all of these leaks. If you are buying a card that links to a leaked card, right? Same thing with the special Mbabus, right? I'm going to look this Mbabu up right now. Uh, the the fire version of Mbabu is up a lot. Even actually the freeze version, which is still in packs, uh, has risen in price. He was like 35,000 coins. And I believe he might be like above 40K now. Is that correct? Um, he's in the low 40s for this Mbabu card. So he was he's definitely risen in price. Yeah, 39, 40,000 coins. He was lower than that. And the fire version is the one that has gone up the most. So honestly, though, you're selling into the hype with all of this stuff because um it's you know still a leak it's not guaranteed to come or when it's going to be coming and there's a lot of things that could happen between now and then uh that would maybe change the market a bit so definitely sell on the hype if you have any cornets if you have any mbabus or stuff like that links to leaks that go up that's a hundred percent a sell in the hype so again that's it's it's creating some some hype it's creating some hype for a brand new promo again it feels like the exact same thing that we saw this last week but we were under I guess we were we were underwhelmed again that's the word i'm going to use we were underwhelmed by what the content was last week with the versus promo with no or not as many skill moving weak foot upgrades and i i don't want to set an insane expectation for this week's promo but everybody's looking at this neymar and this pogba and the fabinho and the kingsley coman that are in the leaks and they're getting excited again so that my word to you would just be have some cautious optimism if you will um because it really comes down to what is the like SBC content going to be like, right? People are saying that, that a part of this promo is going to include daily player SBCs, right? Daily player SBCs, what we have all loved and known as the footmas promo um, is, you know, that's something around this time of the year that we really hope for and that we really, uh, I guess, want. And that's supposedly going to be something that might be coming as a part of the Winter Wild Cards promo that is being leaked. So just kind of keep that out there. And of course, all of you guys with SBC fodder are loving the sound of that because for you, that makes you think that some of your SBC cards are going to go up because there's going to be a lot of SBC demand, which would make some sense. So that's just kind of the deal with the winter wild cards promo. We're probably going to get an updated loading screen today. I just wanted to bring you all of that information that is all public, Twitter leaks, all that stuff, the loading screen. I just want to kind of, you inf kind of inform you about that promo and how it is looking right now. So let's focus on yesterday and today. What is going on in this game right 
now. Yesterday on Wednesday, of course, we had the drop of icon swaps, and as expected, as leaked, it was literally copy pasted. The leaks were 100% exactly correct. Rooney Zambrata, Del Piero, the biggest cards. We had the same exact tokens, the same exact um, objective requirements. So, GG's right now, if you guys are all out grinding the icon swaps. I totally get it. I won't give you a ton of thoughts on this because you've already already thought over it so many times. I'm taking the packs here. I'm taking the 81, 82, and 83 times 25 packs. Um, I Again, my biggest complaint with icon swaps is if you're going to make this, take until February. Literally, the tokens and the whole icon swaps one campaign, uh, there's a loading screen for it. It runs from now until, uh, I don't even know if, is it on this news screen right here? It runs from now until February. It, it takes a long time for this whole thing to kind of take place because, you know, there's nine tokens uh, per 25 days or whatever it is, or 20, basically like it's almost a two month period. And there's, there's nine tokens basically per month, 53 days left. Uh, so right now you can only get nine tokens. So you can only go up to getting prime over Mars, the base or mid pack, or getting two out of the three um, times 25 packs. I'm just going to do these and, and call it a day. I really don't gr like grinding icon swaps too much. I'm going to get these uh, three packs done and get them out of the way. Uh, again, my, as I said, my biggest gripe with icon swaps is if you're going to make this take until February, at least put good cards in it, right? If you're having to wait all the way until at least the middle of January to get the tokens released to get Prime Zambrata or mid Wayne Rooney, who's already been out in the game since the start, um, I, I think that's just, it's not as a W as I, as I wish it would be, but I understand that objective content and SBC content isn't always as top tier as the content in packs, because that's how this game is modeled, right? To get you to spend FIFA points on this game. So I understand why they do it. I just think, you know, why not make this prime Rooney, you know, why make this, um, you know, baby Del Piero, make it prime Del Piero, make this prime Desai. Um, you know, stuff like that. And, and especially with these player picks, some of you guys were like, man, I'm going to try to grind for the base mid or prime player pick. It's only one of two players, which in my opinion is not as OP as if it was one of four, which I think we were maybe hoping and assuming that it would be. So those are the biggest L's of course. Uh, but really not a big surprise with icon swaps. Everybody's out grinding right now. Golden goal. All right. Golden goal GGs, you know, you, you know, the, the unwritten rule. Not everybody is doing it. I played a lot of games yesterday where there were some people doing it. I played a lot of games where there weren't. So wherever you wherever you aside on that on that issue, uh, it's happening, uh, and it's also not happening. So there's plenty of that going around. I I keep I keep hearing people say that squad battles is absolutely terrible because uh, even with their silver teams that they're having to use to play against these squads, they say they're getting destroyed. So my advice to you would be. Don't don't worry too much about uh, the rating, and you know I I usually play the worst opponent in squad battles and then refresh to get like the next worst opponent, and I really don't care about squad battle rewards that much, um, but that's what people are doing right now. GLs if you're grinding those swap tokens, uh, and if you're especially if you're opening an icon pack, good luck uh, grinding that. But that's what everybody is doing right now. And again, as we talked about yesterday, the market took a little bit of a drop. Um, remember we looked at Cristiano Ronaldo's gold card. I believe he was over 500,000 coins yesterday. People saw the icon swaps and they did exactly what they thought they might do. Ronaldo is still, he's still just, um, just under 500,000 coins. It wasn't like crazy drops yesterday. Actually, Ronaldo was just showing a flip in for 480,000 coins. It wasn't a crazy drop in the market yesterday, but there was a solid drop, right? There was a solid sell-off on a lot of cards. If you look at a lot of items, like out-of-pack special cards went down yesterday because people sold cards from their teams uh, for weekend league and stuff to go play icon swap games, right? And that is kind of continuing into today on Thursday, I think a little bit. Although I do think you might see a bit of a market rise after weekend league rewards, sorry, rivals rewards are today. I think you might see a slight bit of a market rise after rivals rewards today, just because it might switch some people back into the, uh, all right, I got to qualify for weekend league mode. Qualifying for weekend league, by the way, uh, counts for your swap games. If you win games in the, um, in the weekend league qualifiers, um, foot champions qualifying matches. If you win those, those that actually counts for this foot champions uh, objective here. So that's a W, right? You're technically doing icon swap progress as you play your qualifier games for this weekend's weekend league. So that's a slight bit of a W. Um, I do think that some people will switch back into gear and buy some of those meta cards back. I've, tr I've tried to look at out of pack specials today. Uh, I've gotten like a short list of some cards here that are down a bit that I'm trying to look at. The Rashford fire card 
Uh, I know the Rashford freeze has dropped a ton. I bought a Rashford fire tonight at 510k because this dude was, he was 620,000 coins yesterday. So I thought that drop was really, really big. We had the rest of the star packs. A lot of you guys were commenting on the video uh, saying that you hadn't gotten your next gen star pack yet the one that we opened on yesterday's video, I believe those have now been all released because uh, everybody must have opened these because Phil Foden yesterday uh, in, in the late hours went from 300,000 coins down to 250. He's now back up to almost 280. But this is 100% caused by people packing this 85 Foden and then selling maybe the tradable one that they had. Teo Hernandez's inform is down uh, in price. As you saw, uh, people pack his car too. This is literally down 30K from where it was. So people definitely were packing the Teo Hernandez. I think gold, Teo was down too because he was like 8,000 coins and now he's 6K. So not a huge percentage drop, but I mean, 8K to 6K, that's actually a decent drop from people that packed these next gen cards. So all of those are out in the game right now. You should have your pack uh, as you log into FIFA. A, a couple other things that could be coming today, a couple other things to chat about too, um, would be the Alfonso Davies Player of the Month SBC. Yes, Alfonso Davies is leaked to have won the Bundesliga Player of the Month. And that has this Rule Breakers card dropping a lot in price. He's been around 150,000 coins at his low point. Here's my take on today's SBC. And Alfonso Davies POTM today uh, could be insane. If they give him, which he should get an 86 rated player of the month today, uh, as well as he has his 86 rated Rule Breakers card. The thing is that the 86 rated player of the month should have either 98 or 99 pace. It'll have a lot less shooting, but it might also have 80 defense and 80 physical so if they juice the card up today make it look really good that's going to be a left back card that people will not be afraid to go and do that sbc because that's a left back that if they, if they want to use the byron links um they're going to use that left back for uh like the, a long time that's a left back that you can put in your squad with the pace with the defense with how good he plays in game people are going to love that item if his sbc today is more than 300,000 coins i think you might see this rule breakers card bounce back a little bit. It all depends on the price of the SBC. I also expect that SBC to potentially drop before 6 p.m. UK, so keep an eye out for that. It all depends on the price today. If his SBC is less than like 200,000 coins, which I think would be way cheap, uh, then I think you're going to see this card go down because everybody's going to go run and do that SBC. I would watch out for your higher tier left backs. Um, you know, your left backs that are like over three, 400,000 coins. Funny enough, I bought a Roberto Carlos tonight at 436 because this man is just flat low. And once this one expires at 450 and 464, I'm probably going to list it up, try to get like 480, 490,000 coins because that's usually where he sells and get that out before the SBC comes. So, I mean, that Davies SBC today could be pretty massive. You might see Bundesliga links um, rise up a little bit if... That is an if the SBC is very good. So some of your center backs, like maybe Klosterman Rule Breakers or Upa Meccano ones to watch would be a, a perfect item to shout. Um, it's already up in price a little bit, but you might see a few of these things rise more today uh, in anticipation and in the hype of this SBC. Upa's 201. I think he was 212 yesterday um, or before icon swaps dropped. So we'll have to see what that SBC is priced at today. If it is priced well, that could be very, very interesting. So that's kind of a lot of the information. We could see an updated loading screen um, today as well. It's kind of the thing we've seen in the past, right? Thursdays, we get an updated loading screen, something that shares a little bit more info on the Wednesday loading screen. And also Prime Icons are coming on Saturday, right? Prime Icons, I want to talk about this. I don't know why they're doing a loading screen hinting at stats and cards because the items are the same. I mean, these are the same prime icons that we've had for the last couple of years in this game. So I don't know why they are showing us a loading screen um, for <laughs> prime icons, except to just tell us that they're coming in two days. So uh, Saturday, it's kind of an interesting thing too. They're dropping those not on Friday, but they're dropping them on Saturday. So icons really have not been panic sold. I traded with some icons yesterday, uh, bought a Pushkas, flipped a Ronaldinho, flipping a couple other icons at the moment. Uh, the icon market, I just feel like it doesn't have too much lower to go. You might see a couple cards get lower, you know, maybe into tomorrow on Friday and into Saturday a little bit. Maybe Saturday morning, there's a little bit of panic. But for the most part, icons are so low already. People have been waiting and ready for these primes and, and icon swaps to drop that they're just down so much in price that I, I don't know how much uh, how much more panic selling there can technically be uh, because most people are just waiting for the primes to drop now anyway. Um, and that's just kind of the state of how icons are on this market. So I don't expect any more crazy panic selling on icons. 
in all honesty, after this weekend, you might see some baby and mid icons actually rebound back up a little bit because people have panic sold them so much in the last like week or two uh, that that panic selling is kind of going to end and people that want to use these icons are going to buy them up. So that's kind of the roundup round table um, talking about what happened on the market yesterday. There were some good icon flips to be had if you were involved in any of those uh, cards that were panic sold and then did bounce back. I think you'll see some of the out of packs market. I didn't really go for the impacts. Um, Ice cards today. Ice cards are a very interesting one to look at. We'll talk about this right before the end of the video. Uh, ice cards today. If you remember how it happened last week with Team of the Group Stage, we were very excited for Team of the Group Stage cards to be dropping on Friday. Uh, sorry, we were very excited for the Versus cards to be dropping on Friday. Team of the Group Stage has actually got lower Friday morning. So there might be a bit of potential for these cards to go up a little bit today into Thursday. There's probably going to be another lightning round and reward supply today on these cards, which will make it a bit interesting. Uh, but if you're wanting to invest in one of these cards, I don't know if I would tell you to buy it today at rewards. I might even wait until tomorrow on Friday to see what our content is. And if the content is not that great, then I think you would see some of these cards bounce very quickly, right? I think you would see a Kunde bounce quick, Rashford. I think this Valverde card, considering that his fire version is still 800K, I think this Ice Valverde is severely undervalued. I mean, this one to me with higher passing and a five-star weak foot in the midfield is head and shoulders above the 87 rated fire version. So I don't understand why this card is so cheap. I think this card is going to end up being 700K uh, into the weekend. I really do think that it is with Real Madrid links being super popular. Now, I know that we do have a Modric that is leaked to be coming out. So that might hurt him a little bit because those are similar card still but definitely valverde is more of a defensive option with more pace um and a five-star weak foot in the midfield as a as a dm that's actually really really solid so i think that these cards are pretty rare i do think that some of them will rise up this weekend it's just kind of kind of kind of going to come down to timing as it does a lot of times with these promo cards uh but i think you know maybe thursday friday would be a time to look into those ice cards if you want to buy any of them before they go out of packs so winter wild cards looks good it's going to be fun. Hopefully they do it right. Big upgrades, nice position changes, um, and kind of like a shapeshifter vibe. I would be totally down for shapeshifters because that was a really fun promo back in FIBA 20. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.